and then blow it up. Boom. <laughs> I blew your house. No, no, that sounds that sounds bad. Hey guys, this is TKZ in Roblox Studio. You know my last video where I made that uh, gravity sphere? Well, I've made a mod modification to it and made it into a telekinesis tool. This is what I've got so far. Let's increase the range of it. Let's see if I can pick up this house. There you go. Let's move it out of the way. <laughs> Let's see if I can crush part of that house. Let's increase my power. There you go. Oh, oh it's going to crush me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, basically what I've done is made it into a telekinesis tool. As you can see. All right. Yeah, so... I made it so we can uh, move the point where the uh, gravity effect as if you're moving with your mind kind of thing and I've also programmed into it where if that TK power gets above I think 65 it starts breaking things where you have to say you wanted to move a player around without killing them you can move around like that and then drop them down or if you if you didn't uh, didn't like them rather than killing them you can set the mode from pull to push oh that's the wrong button so in other words that'll push them out push them away kind of thing so there you go pushing the house away And if you really don't like them, we can break them. If I if I can actually do it, I'll show you a zombie. It works really well with those. Um, let's have a look. I want to use George. <laughs> um, recent models. Now, is this going to spawn in a zombie and kill me? Let's have a look. No. Pop! There he goes. <laughs> Let's try another one. No, you're not getting me. You see that? Let's uh, push him away. Let's actually um, squash him. There you go, he's dead. Let's pu pull him uh, towards us. There you go. He's actually disappeared. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I've been working on for the past three, maybe four hours. I'll show you the script behind it. It's not much change from the uh, that force field script. Yeah, this is the uh, tool that I've uh, that I that I wrote to make this telekinesis tool. It's still. A little bit buggy when it comes to uh, moving things around like if you had the power up too high things tend to jutter when it's in the uh, sphere in in the uh, gravity sphere but I suppose that so uh, that shows how much power you're uh, putting through the sort of tenokalesis thing I guess is that even a word <laughs> I don't know yeah so basically what the modes are you can move your uh, gravity sphere in and out from a certain distance. I think I set it from 10. Yeah, I think it's the minimum distance you can do is 10. Otherwise, it end up uh, knocking your player over. And the max is 120 studs. So I might increase that a bit more, but I don't know. 
So that's uh, changing by R and F on the keyboard. So you just press it and then, didn't mean to do that. Press it and hold it to change it. And then we got uh, Q and E for the power of the Tenokinesis power. How much it can pull or how much it can push. So, and then we got um, another one which I might make more modes for. We got pull and push. So, I'll show you the modes quickly. Let's deselect, hit deselect. Get rid of the chat. That's pull at 50, as you can see. Let's increase the distance and the house goes away. Let's increase. So I'm pressing F, R and F kind of thing. And as you can see that jitter. <laughs> Let's reduce the power. It seems to be the power that's doing it. And the way I'm actually moving the things is uh, not by any body positions or anything. I'm using the uh, brick velocity. There you go, We're increasing the power. Watch this house explode. Or part of it, should I say. Let's rip into it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's explode it. Just having too much fun with this uh, this tool. That's how scripting should be. Not uh, like some people find scripting boring. <laughs> Is this boring? I don't think so. I don't understand those people who say uh, scripting is boring. Yeah, so that's basically what I've uh, made into my gravity sphere. I'm just trying to think of new ways I can actually use it. There you go. Yeah, there we go. There's a player knock. If I had that at uh, distance zero, it'll either end up me flying on the part that I'm controlling, or it ping me off the, completely off the base plate. Or oh, when I do that, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, what I've been working on. I was about to wrap it up there, but I haven't showed you the actual code behind it yet. So the code behind it, if I pause the game, is as follows. I've got, that's how I'm sort of controlling it. It's not much uh, difference from the gravity sphere. The only thing I'm using, rather than the parts for the position, I'm using, uh, well, we a vector 3 value for the position. So the script for the actual pulling and pushing part of it is not inside it's not the actual tool itself. It's this script here, the PK script. So this area size is the area of, of effect. I've left that alone at 40 because that seems to be the biggest amount of size that it can do with a region 3. That's how it's working. Or should I say that's how it's using what it's using so that's how big the region 3 can be like uh, say so you got a part 40 by 40 by 40 the size of it that's the area that it works in in a box to get this sphere that I got I just uh, using the distance or the magnitude of the position where we are uh, originating from, which is in this case zero zero zero, minus the part that we intersect by the fine parts on region three. That's how I'm getting the sphere, and the distance works in the sphere. If you think about, um, let's see if we can work out how to explain this. Basically, think of let's just say you're sitting in your chair or wherever you're sitting, and then you've got a door in front of you. If you turn round, that distance is always going to be the same distance between you and the door. And that's just, just the sphere. So that's how I'm doing that. 
then I'm going through all the parts that find parts in reading 3 with ignore list which is the ignore list that I'm passing to it is uh, basically the player that we're in the tools in and the base plate because we don't want the, want to move the base plate otherwise uh, we end up uh, dying over and over when we delete the base plate <laughs> and I'm also thinking about maybe doing it for anchored stuff I don't know though it might uh, break a few games doing that at the moment it will work for an anchored stuff so if you had something anchored it would uh, control it just the same I think no it won't it would uh, apply a velocity that to that anchored part but then as soon as that part unanchors itself or somehow gets unanchored it ends up uh, pinging off that way whatever its velocity is <laughs> so yeah there's a few still a few a little bugs like uh, like that one I just just uh, explained and yeah the uh, the way I'm getting the uh, push and pull is by a very simple little script or function called reflect where I'm calculating the angle between the part and the position where it the origin of the position of the uh, effect so it's basically just uh, getting the uh, the direction where, where the part is and then pulling it in kind of thing or pushing it out depends on the mode yeah so that's uh, I guess that's what I've been working on and I guess if I get enough likes on this video I'll be releasing this <laughs> so it's going to be another one of those videos I may even uh, try and see if I can work out why it's jittering like that I think it might be the case of uh, the part coming out of the area of the effect and it's pulling another one in into its uh, into the area uh oh thank you I caught it <laughs> gonna get crushed by the house yay would be very good uh, for second time for uh, doing the re review right, let's increase the power let's move this effect through the house like so and then blow it up boom <laughs> I blew your house no oh, no that sounds bad that sounds bad <laughs> anyway this has been uh, Tegaza in Roblox Studio on my Tannikinesis stroke gravity uh, effect thing and I catch you guys later Tegaza signing out